Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh uh, This video is module 2 uh, In this module You will Learn To understand uh, What is Template DOTX all about We are going to use uh, One folder to study this The name of the folder is Simulation for A Basically, uh, we will start to understand what is style Then, we can look at the role of the style in the template I think many of you already understand style But I want to repeat it again uh, in this slide Alright, now the aim of this module is to understand the role of the style in the template To use to use one DOTX for many DOCX To create and modify the style uh, Maybe we can use a draft mode and outline mode formatting now as a summary this module will go in the detail of how to create the style and to understand what is the identity of the style after that we can assign the style for specific function and we can use it again and again and we will keep the style in the template and we will use the style for many DOCX and then we can create uh, the template the template that we are talking about here is the simulation of the thesis alright if you know uh, what is style okay, if you modify the style you modify the style you click on format there is an option paragraph you click on paragraph so in the paragraph uh, formatting under the indent and spacing option yeah, indent indent and spacing option you will see general indentation and spacing yeah? so the basic idea of one particular style is alignment you know left right center indentation uh, first line hanging i will i will uh, create a video uh, for a simulation of this um, uh, idea yeah first uh, line uh, indentation hanging uh, none uh, spacing before after and line spacing alright if you manage to create the style this is the meaning of first line indentation this is the meaning of uh, indentation hanging ok so in between these two lines we call it line spacing but between these two we call it spacing after or spacing before ok this item we call it tab yeah? Okay. where to store the style actually we the best uh, to store the style is in the template DOTX or template DOTM yeah. this uh, module uh, will explain clearly why uh, we need only one template to be used uh, with uh, many DOCX file this is DOCX file yeah? All of this file must use only one template. Alright. How to understand uh, template? Yeah? Template will uh, manage all important format that we use regularly. We have to attach it in our DOCX file. Uh, in order for you to attach it, we have to use developer type here. We have to use developer type yeah. If you have uh, one uh, uh, empty file, you can transfer all your writing uh, into new file while uh, the template is uh, on the background. Alright, we want to understand the thesis structure. Yeah? Okay, basically, thesis can be divided into two. One is preface, the other one is body. Uh, normally the preface will have Roman uh, page numbering and your body will have Arabic page number what is the meaning of Roman number eh? 
Roman number is something like this. This is Roman number, yeah. This is Roman number, yeah. And what is Arabic uh, number? Arabic page. Uh, this is Arabic number, yeah. This is Arabic number. Okay. This is Arabic number. Okay. So uh, we will divide. Uh, this uh, uh, thesis, our thesis, into two major portion because of a page numbering system. Yeah. Okay. Now, what is there in the uh, Roman, in the Roman uh, pages or preface? Our thesis title, our abstract control content. Uh, our table of content our list of table list of figures eh? and uh, on, the, uh, on our body body of the thesis Arabic number we have chapter title we have paragraph we have table caption list of uh, table figures plates equation we have quotation citation we have text in table we have flow chart and so on Alright, how to use uh, one document with two Arabic and Roman? Yeah? We are going to use section break. Yeah? We are going to use section break. Uh, specifically, we are going to use uh, section break. Section break next page. Yeah? Next page. How, how to get it uh, under the layout or page layout here under this button you will see section break next page you have to choose this one all right next um, what is Microsoft Word template yeah when you create one document the default is the OCX uh, file and then when you save it you have to choose you have to select this one okay um, you have to use you have to choose either one of these yeah? uh, either the OTX or the OTM only then it will uh, become a template the OTX or the OTM okay then this is draft mode formatting I show you in our previous uh, video uh, how to get this uh, draft mode uh, draft mode is uh, one extra column in between navigation pane and your body um, for each uh, style uh, for each uh, uh, item on our uh, body uh, after you manage to assign it then uh, the, the the style will appear on this side yeah uh, this is the dif different uh, 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 different between uh, this and this yeah because uh, this is your style yeah so if you put your cursor here the style will appear on this side isn't it the, the blue box but for uh, each one of this the style will appear uh, many times yeah? depends on the, the, the usage yeah? look uh, here in this case the style is the same as this one Okay. If you want to use the template, you have to find your developer tab. Yeah, you must have your developer tab. Yeah. I show you in our module number one how to get it. Yeah, you can find a lot number of videos. I have my my videos as well of how to get this developer tab. Right. Uh, if you have this developer tab, you click this. You have this developer tab you click this document template automatically you will get this pop-up yeah this pop-up and after you get this pop-up you have to click this button click this button only then you will ask to find the location of your template DOTX right so my my best advice is to create one folder uh, where your DOCX and DOTX together yeah in one folder as what I 
already explained in module number one okay after you do this and you click open only then uh, the template will attach to the the OSX file when you want to modify the template yeah um, if you already attach with the the OSX file you have to check this box yeah check this box you modify it no you say for example you want to modify uh, this style after you finish modify this you have to check this button yeah and check this two together and then you click ok right uh, in order for you to update the style on the template as well I provide the video for this already okay now uh, what is compatibility mode if you uh, save one particular DOSX file in different version of Microsoft uh, Word file you try to open it on the other version you will see this compatibility mode yeah so in order for you to release the compatibility mode you have to go to info and you have to click this button convert this uh, will ensure that you can fully utilize uh, all of the function on the template after you attach it you can use this link to understand uh, what is the meaning of compatibility mode uh, this is the end of module number two right after this i have the uh, uh, hands-on simulation uh, for module number two thank you very much